So Apple has just released an update to Pages on the iPad as well as on your phone and on your Mac and I thought we would take a look at the um, couple of just new things that I think are, are worthwhile just really sharing the impact that these updates can have certainly within your classroom um, and your delivery. So if you haven't seen it already go to the App Store and you'll see that there are these um, updates. I will say now lots of these are, are based around the iPhone which I've got to say using an iPhone myself and sometimes going in it to edit some of the documents that I've created or books that I've made, that's going to be such a game changer. But I'm going to focus specifically today around the translation side of things. Now, just also highlight this happens uh, across Keynote as well. This is not just native to Pages, but I'm going to show it today within the Pages application, as well as some of the other things which help you uh, when it comes to publishing things, which I know lots of uh, schools and educators are starting to publish lots of their books to share thoughts and ideas. So some updates to that as well. So let's jump into Pages. This is a document that I've been working on recently. And the one thing that I wanted to highlight straight away was this translation function. Now, working with lots of schools, one of the things that comes up quite a lot is the need to have something uh, translated to make it accessible to learners um, of all languages. Um, and the fact that you don't then need to duplicate all of these documents because actually the tool is there within Pages itself and as, like I said, within Keynote as well. So if I tap on where it says diagrams here and select the text as you'd be used to before, you'll notice above the text where you have your copy, paste, etc. we also now have translate. And if I tap on translate, it's going to then give me the option to select the, to, the, the language that I want to um, translate from. So in this case, this is translating it from English and then translate it into whichever other language that I want to translate this into. Now, obviously, at the moment, I've got this set to translate into French, and then you can obviously choose the language that you want this to go into um, just by selecting all of these on the page here. So this is a really, really nice feature. Now, one, it's a great feature for translating documents, etc. It's also a nice feature, I think, for students to play around with different language in the classroom to be able to see what that looks like without, again, having to go to other applications to do that. So we have all of those functions in here, as well as the ability to have it speak to us. Diagrams. Diagramme which is, again, a really, really nice function. I can imagine lots of modern foreign language teachers already thinking, wow, this is going to be awesome, um, as well as teachers of students that are new to English, but also, you know, reverse this round. This is great for students of any language and being able to work on that into different uh, languages. So that's a really, really nice feature, one that I'm sure people are going to have um, an awful lot of fun playing around with. Now, we also said that there is the option to play around with the publishing. This is a book, so I've, I'm starting to create this as a bit of a workbook um, for the classroom use. And when it comes to publishing this, we know um, from previous videos, and if you've done this before, we can publish those books uh, to Apple Books. So when you're publishing your books, you may want to have your book spread as either one page or two page. So you'll notice that that option is now here in the publishing section. All those other options are as you will be used to seeing them before in terms of you know putting it into the right categories and having the descriptions, etc. Um, and having your, your cover page, etc. All of that's the same as it was before. Just a different way to present your work if you want it to be presented that way. Now, again, if you're using these in, in a certain style, if you want uh, the the pages to flow between with images across the, the sections, etc. That just might be how you want them to, to look on the page. Now, obviously, you can look at that in the uh, section up here when you go to two page view. So if you've designed it, and I know that a good friend of mine, Kurt Kleinen, does this nicely where he'll have images go across two pages here. If you want it to look like that for the end user, then you can set it um, when you're publishing the book as well. So again, just a really, really nice feature in there. Like I said, the other updates are really uh, bespoke to the iPhone and how people might uh, edit their documents on the iPhone. So do check those out. But I'm really looking forward to hearing how teachers are going to use the new inbuilt translate feature to um, not just have the translation function within the books, but how they use it creatively within a book itself to uh, act as a, a support for students um, of all languages.